It's the only way to protect this precious piece of ours. Are you going to rebel? Is there going to be a war? I'm certain Noctigal has consolidated his power for an invasion on Azul. He has already shown that he's willing to sacrifice his own people to satisfy his ambition. If he isn't stopped, countless lives in Rashigal and Azul will be lost all for naught. I am the governor, and protecting the people who live here is something that I must do. That's not easy. You're right, but I'm responsible. Now, will you lend me your aid? But, well, I... Deposing Noctigal is in everyone's best interest. We must unite for this cause. Master! Klein! Damn it! Heal him! Quickly! Uh, right! This arrow is... No, Jude! Please, you mustn't give up now. Rowan, you can't expect miracles. We know that the wound is mortal. It's up to you to look after the country now. But I know that I'm not up to the task. It's impossible. You of all people can do it. I know that you can. Master, no! Don't go! <laughs> Lord Klein! <gasps> Please continue with your report. Yes, sir! The Rashigal army has invaded the town! Our troops are engaged throughout the city! Things just went from bad to worse. Mila and the others are out there! Very well. We must protect Lady Dressel at all costs. Master. Please forgive me for having to leave your side. We must defend the manor. Yes, sir! Let's go! Yourself. Let's clear out these goons. No, it will take too long and waste our energy. Stand down this instant! What point is there in fighting after you've completed your mission? Or are you mere savages who take delight in the suffering of your countrymen? Let us return to the manor. Right.
Everything okay? Yes, I have made arrangements for Lord Klein's funeral, although the ceremony will be brief. How could this have happened? The arrow that took my master's life was of a unique design, one used only by Noctagall's personal guard. And considering the timing of the army's invasion, it's obvious this was all a plot by Noctagall. The assassination allowed him to seize complete control of Roshagal. Noctagal does think big. I wonder where they took Mila and the others. Fort Gandala, most likely. A single division of troops couldn't possibly attack multiple cities in a short time. It's reasonable to assume that Sapstrath Seahaven remained safe and under Cheryl control. Thus, our attackers must have been ordered to return to Fenmont. And Fort Gandala is the only place equipped to house troops between here and there. Good thinking. Makes sense to me. We have to save them! I like your moxie, kid, but we're talking about a fortress here. It's not like we can storm the walls. On the contrary, we do need to rush. Tonight may be our only chance. The morale among those troops was visibly low, and now they've been forced to march home after battle with no rest. They'll be at their weakest. And don't forget we have a trump card ready and waiting. That's right! The men we sent to infiltrate the fortress! We should depart at once. A butler, huh? Who is this old man exactly? I can't believe they got Mila. Are you so surprised? These are the same thugs who snared the four great spirits. And I let the same thing happen again. Let's get moving, gentlemen. We can't afford to suffer any more losses. Aren't you listening? These guys are way out of our league. Don't be ridiculous. They haven't a chance. Especially against a warrior of your considerable talent. Hmm? Didn't take you for the sort that props up comrades with sweet talk. That depends on the comrade. Does it seem to be working? A nice effort, but uh, I only fall for flattery when it comes from the lips of a lady. Then let's go save Mila and the others. I'm sure they'll praise you. Oh yeah? Well then, I guess I'll put out a little effort. <laughs> 